This is mentioned very clearly in Surah Al-Qasas. Musa alayhi salam is a child of Banu Israel. So he is from Banu Israel, but however he's raised in the house of Fir'aun. So he's raised in the house of Fir'aun amongst the people of Fir'aun. Now we know the story that he goes in the marketplace. There's a man from the people of Fir'aun, the Qibtiyun, who is in an argument with a man from Banu Israel, Musa's people. Now Musa alayhi salam is constantly struggling with this whole dilemma of a man of Banu Israel living amongst the king and his people. So when he sees this and the man from Banu Israel sees Musa and he knows Musa has got a soft spot for his people, Banu Israel. Musa, Musa, look what this guy's doing to me. So Musa alayhi salam intercedes, he steps in, says, what's going on here? Hey, what's going on here? The man says, hey, move along, mind your own business. Gets very rude and abrupt and starts getting aggressive, starts getting in Musa alayhi salam's face. And I would say somebody gets up in your grill, somebody gets up in your face. So you have no choice but to kind of defend yourself. Push somebody off. So Musa alayhi salam does that. He says, back up buddy. فَوَكَزَهُ مُوسَى فَقَضَى عَلَيْهِ But what ends up happening is the dude dies. And the man dies. Musa alayhi salam doesn't realize his own strength. فَقَضَى عَلَيْهِ The man's dead. That's an incident from his life. That's a detail. This is before he became a prophet. This is long before that. But it's mentioned in the Qur'an. There's actually a lesson here. This is relevant. This is pertinent. And the relevance of this incident to the message here is that Musa alayhi salam committed our unintentional, accidental, but nevertheless what was judged amongst the people where he lived in at that time to be a, a crime. He was a convicted criminal amongst the people. Unintentional, accidental, but nevertheless the people saw it as a crime. In his earlier age he committed that crime. Later on in life, he is made a messenger of Allah. And then he's sent back to those same people to go and bring them the message from Allah. Go and deliver the divine message to them. In the dialogue between Allah and Musa alayhi salam, one of the first things he says is, وَلَهُمْ عَلَيْهِ ذَنْبٌ He even says, Allah, you're gonna send me back to Fir'aun and the people? I, I'm a criminal there. I owe them some form of retribution. I'm a criminal there. I'm wanted over there. You're sending me to them? Okay, so he's already hesitant because of that previous past crime. Allah says, no, you still gotta go. And when Musa alayhi salam walks into the court of Fir'aun and says, I'm here with the message of Allah. You need to believe in one Allah. You need to let Banu Israel go. What's the very first thing Fir'aun says? Hey, aren't you that guy? Very sarcastically, aren't you the guy that did what you did back when you did it? And you were a really bad person? That's what he points out, right? So that worst fear is realized. It contributes to the message in a deeper fashion and manner where there's a powerful lesson to be extracted. And that is... That's going to happen a lot. That's going to be a very common occurrence. That somebody previously, some point in time in their previous life, they will have done something bad. They will have done something not so admirable. They committed a crime, they did something bad. And not only did they do something bad, but the people will know that this person was the dude who did that. He's the guy who did that. They'll know that he was the one. And so he'll have that bad rep amongst his people. But somewhere down the line, there will be a major turning point in his life. Like in the life of Musa alayhi salam. He was never a bad person, but he had that one little incident in his past. And the major turning point, what I mean is he went from being a normal, ordinary individual to being a messenger of Allah. So same way in our society, in our communities, there will be people sometime in the past in their life, they will have done something bad. Then they'll have a turning point in their life where they'll turn things around. And then they will come back wanting to do something good, wanting to contribute something, wanting to be a part of something good. And at that point in time, that's where this incident becomes very relevant. What are we going to do? Are we going to be like Fir'aun? So when that young man comes up to call the Adhan, he did something bad, and he comes up to call the Adhan, it's like, hey, you, you, move back, move back. I don't want you calling Adhan. You're a bad person. 
Are we going to do that? Because if we do that, if that is our behavior, if we're judging people the second they walk through the door, we're no better than Fir'aun. We have just exhibited an equality of Fir'aun. We're acting like Fir'aun, because that's what Fir'aun did. He didn't care what Musa alayhi salam had to say. He didn't care why he was coming. He didn't care who he had become and who he had matured into. All he was still stuck on was, yeah, but you're the guy who did that. He was still stuck on that. So what are we going to do? How are we going to react to people? Versus that, compare that to the example of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did he ever, ever, ever hold anyone's past against him? Never did. Never did.